In this video, I'm going to cover the first command line command uh, that will help us create a repository. So I'm going to create a new folder just for demonstration purposes on my desktop. And I'm going to open that folder in VS Code. So open that in VS Code. Now, we've already installed Git. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal and run Git commands from the terminal. And so to create our uh, local repository, uh, with git we're going to type in git init and so this is the first command that we will run it says initialized empty git repository inside of this folder now um, what that actually did if I go to my file explorer on my desktop and open up the demo folder it made a hidden folder that will be used to keep track of all my merges and all my git commits and all my git settings and so this is a folder you basically never have to touch you just need to know that it's there and when you have this hidden git folder you know you have a local repository on your computer now if you go into your folder and you don't see this hidden folder it's because hidden folders are turned off by default and so you just have to go into your folder settings and go into options and change the view to don't uh, show hidden files in folder. And so this radio button right here, if this is currently set up to don't show hidden files, I've changed my settings to show hidden files in folders. And so this keeps uh, people who don't know what they're doing uh, from deleting things that they you shouldn't delete in a lot of cases but you know most users who are writing code you should you should know the difference between a hidden folder and a non-hidden folder and you should see those hidden folders you're trusted now uh, to to work with those and so this is the first command to get started and again this is an important folder for realizing you've got a local repository created uh, that will keep track of your uh, various files as we go through and so uh, if I add a new file and we'll just say demo.txt um, right away you could see now I've got the source control that's got a one indicator and I've got some changes down here um, to to make uh, commits and so this is my demo and so now my source control indicators in Visual Studio are, are indicating to me that there's pending changes ahead.